What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? We're back again. I am Hawaiian Steve. This is Blunt Review. Uh, we're going to be talking about a uh, Netflix movie, uh, Charlize Theron, Old Guard. Just watched this. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I just watched this one, and uh, it's pretty dope. So let's get into it without further ado. This is Blunt Review with Hawaiian Steve. doing dads in here today. Dusty trails, Jezebel singing about heads and tails, breast pocket full of useless words. <laughs> <laughs> the dabs kill me. <laughs> they kill me. <laughs> so, anyways, we got Old Guard. Uh, came out on Netflix. Charlie Saron and a couple other guys. Um, I didn't uh, check out their names, but you know what? This was this was dope. This was fun. Um, I do believe I watched it when it first came out, but um, I didn't recall much. Honestly, I don't even remember watching it. So I must fell asleep or something. But uh, I watched it again. And this movie was fucking dope. This movie was dope. I really liked it. Charlie Theron, already a badass in her own right. Uh, you know her from uh, <coughs> the Italian job. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road blew me away in that. Um, speaking of which, her character in Fury Road, Furiosa, is getting her own uh, prequel to the Mad Max franchise. So that'll be dope. Um, also I do believe that this old guard did get green lit for a second, uh, for a sequel and, uh, the ending totally leaves it open for a sequel. So, um, Charlie Theron commands this, uh, army of four or five guy people and they are immortal. They've lived for thousands and thousands of years and uh, and over the t over the years, they they fight for what they believe is good, and uh, they kind of just explain it. He says, "We just fight for what we believe is right," and that's pretty dope. You know, there's no bureaucracy involved. They don't work for a specific government. There's no hidden agendas. They're just immortal, and they're using their abilities to fight for what they believe is right and to continue moving uh, humanity forward. Um, Fuck, I wish I could remember his name. Ch Chibwell. Oh, the 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 uh black dude in this is a phenomenal actor. He's been in so much. Mr. Uh, 12 Years a Slave. He plays Mordo and Doctor Strange. He's in this as well. And he's the one who kind of pinned, pinned everything together and tracked everything down to where um they all realized that they were all uh um immortals, but that they're all Re, uh, reshaping the world and making it that much better and this is going on so just so you know talking about old old guard um and and so he's putting all this together and shows them how what they're doing in the world and the people that they're saving are making things better for the world and i thought that was pretty dope um <laughs> um one of the one of the team, uh, you know, of course, there's got to be betrayal. You know, you have to move the plot forward. So one of them does betray him. And, um, you know, you have to deal with that. Being captured is their greatest fear because they can't die. So if they're captured, then they're just going to get tortured and tested on so people can figure out their secret and how they can uh, utilize it themselves. And, of course, the big bad in this is is a pharma bro with a gay haircut and uh, a nerdy fucking hoodie. And he thinks that he's going to... Um, <laughs> he thinks that he's going to solve solve the world's problems with... Um, a with, nerdy hoodie. With a nerdy hoodie and these immortal powers. Um, so he hires a team to capture these people. He can run tests on them. And uh, they do discover a new immortal... Um, this young black soldier, uh, female, 
who's in Afghanistan, gets her throat slit, and she comes right back. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, so she comes back, saves everybody, you know, and the action in this was, was dope. I really liked it. The action was practical. The fight choreography was, was practical. And that, that's what you're looking for in an action movie. Not just stupid car chases or explosions, which don't get me wrong, are fun. But this movie had a lot of practical action, which I love seeing Charlize Theron do. Because she's a badass. Mm -hmm. So, um, totally recommend this movie. This was a dope, fun watch. I'm glad I revisited it. Who told you to revisit it? Did you mention that in your video? I give all credit to my wife because she told me to rewatch it. <laughs> dope movie. <coughs> I can't wait for the sequel. If you guys got Netflix, go check it out. <coughs> Personally, myself, um, I loved it, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it four blunts, four out of five blunts. I loved it. I thought this was a great movie. Um, didn't waste too much time with with backstory and all that. It just got to the action, and it it you know it was solid. The action was solid. It was it was a good movie. It was a fun watch. So four out of five blunts for me. Hawaiian Steve blunt review. The old guard. If you got Netflix, go check it out. It's fun. It's action. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Charlize Theron, so go check it out. And that'll do it for me. Blunt review. Hawaiian Steve, the wife. Yeah.